Good morning, everyone, from me and Olive. Olive? Olive, say hello. All right, whatever. Uh, I noticed that since I started film with, filming with this GoPro, that when I move it, just in my hand, it's on a, like a little stick. But it makes like weird sounds with the audio. So if any of you guys know how to fix that, please let me know, because it's annoying, and I'm sure you guys don't enjoy it. Um, but today uh, is my Saturday. It's actually Sunday. I watched FD last night. Congratulations to Mr. Chelsea Denofa. Uh, I know he's been working his ass off to get another win, so I'm very proud of him. And uh, I'm going to work on the car today. I think the plan is to get the car pretty much back together today and then go drive it and make sure that it stays cool with those new fans and let it idle, which that was a problem with the old fans. It couldn't even idle without overheating, so... Uh, I'm going to try to button it back up and then go for a drive and I'll uh, bring you guys along. So uh, I'm on my way back to the house now. It's a beautiful day in Kentucky. It's going to be hot, but it's beautiful right now. It's like 8 a.m. And uh, yeah, it's beautiful. Here we go. Hello, little girl. <laughs> oh, I thought you were sleeping back here. You was not. Oh, you got bacon all over you. A little carnivore. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Daddy. Come on. So from the last video um, to now, not much has changed other than I've put together the front end, I put the oil cooler back on, bash bar, and uh, one of the mods that I am doing is this is the uh, cable for the hood latch, I'll we'll have hood pins on this car, but this used to run up into this fender and what would happen would be when I would be at angle and the car would hit a bump or whatever and it would cause the shock to travel it was catching on it and it was ripping it apart so you can see when I was a grid life they got caught up a few times and pretty much destroyed it so my idea is to have this come out somewhere by the bumper um, where I can just grab it and pop the hood so also like when you're not pulling a cable that's going through the fender through the firewall and stuff it actually 
coal's pretty freaking smooth. So, uh, got to figure that out and then put the intake back on. Um, we've got a power steering leak. Oh, shit, that's burped. Uh, I have a power steering leak and I don't know why. I really don't. Uh, the It's leaking from the fitting that goes into the rack and I thought it was the rack leaking this whole time. And I have a sicky kit and so I pulled the fittings out. First time I pulled the fittings out, they had bad O-rings. So I replaced the O-rings, put it back together, still leaked. So I've replaced the fittings again with new O-rings and I'm hoping that fixes it. So I don't know what it is or if I'm just having bad luck or what, but this seat bolt on this side in the back, the bolt's fine. The holes, the, the bolts that came out of it almost feel like they fit kind of loose. And now like one bolt on each side won't like bite and get tight. So I'm not sure why I've put a lot of seats in a lot of cars and never had a problem. So now I'm having to tap holes. So that's a little bit of a setback. The other thing is I added new rings and did what I thought was necessary. But these fucking fittings, look at it. You can see it dripping right there. They're still leaking. I don't understand why. This is ridiculous. It's a $150 power steering line kit. This shit shouldn't leak at all but it is and it almost seems like maybe now that I look at it like the fucking line might be leaking on the fitting what the god alright the other thing check out this ghetto stuff it's my pull tab pop the hood <laughs> you can almost fit like one finger in there cool uh, need another clamp for the intake. God, these fucking power steering lines, I swear to God, I'm gonna call Siki. First thing Monday, Let's see if they can help out. I think that it's leaking from the, the fitting itself, like the, the fitting that's on the line, not the fitting that goes into the rack, which is fucking unfortunate. But I've, I've probably gone through like, I don't know, five quarts of power steering fluid since, uh, Grid life. Found out what the problem was. Uh, this side was not stripped out. What it was is because these, uh, I don't know, seat bracket things that are stitch welded into the car, uh, because they're raised up off the ground, uh, they have a nut welded to the bottom of this hole right here. And those tack welds that held that nut on broke off. So this is raised up about two inches off the body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill through this and then through the chassis and uh, put a nut and bolt on it. Scratch the shit out of my cage that I just painted because it's a stupid seat. Ugh. And I can't find my drill charger. So we're off to a pretty rough start today, I'm going to be honest with you guys. No drill charger. did find a worm clamp for this. That's good. So I decided to uh, change my tires out only because there's some flat spots in these ones from coming down the hill at Atlanta. Lots of handbrake on entry. But uh, the tire wore great all weekend, which I'm pretty familiar with this tire. I knew that was going to happen, but for people that don't know about these tires, these are the Accelera 651 Sports, 
65, 35, 18. Uh, this tire's still good, uh, but they do have some flat spots in them and I'll be driving around town, so why not throw on a fresh set? I think this thing is roadworthy. Put the seat back in, uh, just did the lap harness. So, we'll go for a little drive. Got another Z Compadre here. The only other 350Z in Pikeville. It's kind of what my car started as, but a lot cleaner. This thing is really clean. It's hard to find car people on a town like this. There's a good little scene though. Shout out all the 606 kids out here in Pikeville. But uh, he brought me a drill because I lost my charger for mine, so. Got the seat mounted, got some new 651, 651 Sports on it. Um, we're gonna drive up to this cool place called Fish Trap, take a picture of the car for Instagram, make sure the car doesn't overheat. And uh, yeah, haven't driven it since Atlanta.
made it back to the house. Got told that I can't drive this car at that park that we were at by a uh, government official. I don't know why he didn't give me a reason. Just told me to get the hell out. That's what he said. Wasn't doing anything. I didn't do any burnouts or anything like that. But uh, the car did not overheat. Thank God. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching today's video. And today is the last day that the uh, big pin shirts will be on the web store. Uh, if you don't know, Princess, my dog, was shot by my neighbor. And uh, we've been trying to raise some money. We had to move in seven days to start a new house. Had to pay a whole bunch of crazy vet bills. We're still paying vet bills. And uh, every shirt that you guys pick up has been a huge help. So thanks a lot. And see you next time. Peace.